Hello everyone, I have a speed veil today. This is actually pretty important because it is the nook's cranny and it's actually right next to the last speed build that I did. And yeah, nook's cranny is very important so this has to look really good. So basically for this build, I have an idea to make it look like a cottage because I am turning everything into a cottage, basically. So I'm putting those panels like right in front of it. And you see that one? That is not supposed to be there. I'm gonna customize it to be the other, like to look like the other cottage. So yeah, I like, I kind of was stuck on what to do in this area because um, I don't know. I, it's hard to choose what you want to do, but I just thought in my mind that I wanted it to look very delicate and just like pretty and a lot of like light colors. So that's what I decided to do. Um, it's going to be very cottagey, but like with a lot of white in it. So yeah, I'm actually getting trees right now so that I can frame in the area um so that it doesn't look like a like solid panel so that it like it basically covers the edges of it so yeah I'm getting some trees And right on this little, you see the drawing, yes. I wanted to just let you guys know if you wanted to subscribe, that would help me out a lot. And you could always change your mind later. So, yep, subscribe if you would like. And I'm just customizing these um, stalls to be this really, really beautiful hanging flowers design. It has like planters and it's hanging off of the edges. That actually looks so good. It's very obvious that I covered the box that, what is it called? The little box that you can sell things at. But I decided that I'm just gonna do it because I need it to look good, okay? I just need to cover the nook's cranny because it's not like it looks ugly, but I guess the orange color is just not going to fit. Like, I know it would fit, but I just decided that I wanted to cover it, so I'm not going to have the little drop box, which sucks, but I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to sell things and then wait for the store to open again. I'm not even sure. But I tried to put a little seating area here, but then I just thought I didn't want it. So you'll actually see me destroy that later. And I was trying to make the fireplace um, a table. Basically, when you turn it over, it is like a table. So I was trying to do that, but I didn't because it looked weird because the table was super tall. So I didn't end up dis I didn't end up with that. And I love this. The barrels actually look really, really good. I wanted to use that finally. I've got those barrels and I've never used them before. So I really love how I did that. And I like how it's one standing up and then one laying down. It just looks really good. I actually use this sign that points to the shop. I actually really like that. And this, oh my gosh, so many things that I like, but I love that carriage. And the bunny day basket on top of the barrel just looks really delicate again. And as you can see, the area is kind of coming together. It just has like a bunch of light colors. And I put that bell with the flowers on it. And yeah, just a lot of light colors with like white and everything. And here's the part where I had to basically move everything around because 
I needed to put the pathway down and um, it, everything was in the way. So I kind of had to take away everything little by little so that I don't ruin it. But I, I, need to, I needed to put that um, plank design, like a walkway, because it needed it. Like it would look empty without it. So I decided to put that plank design. And I like just basically right now, I'm just moving everything to the side while I put a code underneath it because I don't want it to just be the grass. I just want there to be codes everywhere. So, and I just, I, and I, I just want you guys to know like, yeah, it's kind of like weird to do that, but I don't really know if there's any other way to do it because I can't just like put some codes down and then plan out the area. I don't know. I need to plan out the furniture first and then put the the codes underneath it. I feel like that's the only way I can do it. And it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, sometimes it's a little bit bad because you have to move everything. But yeah, it's not a big deal actually. And I was so glad that I could put a tree there. I thought it wasn't going to fit, but it literally, I needed it there. So I'm glad I could put it. And decorating this area was also really fun. I love decorating the nook's cranny. It's like very important. And here I am customizing the holiday candle to be gold, which I've never done, but I just wanted to see how it looked like, and I actually really like it. So instead of doing the white candle, I did the gold holiday candle, and you see it right there. Here is the end result. I love that pumpkin carriage. And basically with that, it's just like you arrive to Nook's Cranny in that fancy carriage. So I just wanted this area to look 
basically fancy actually and here is the finished area love those barrels and the bell that looks really good so here it is that's the end result tell me what you guys think of with um in the comments below like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in another video